So here's another example of uh, you know photo opportunity. So a lot of times, uh, public art, specifically murals, can be uh, used to create these amazing photogenic opportunities within your city and downtown. You just have to make sure that they're accessible. So I think that's one of the most important things that for people to do that is make sure they're accessible. So you know, here's a great example. We have this mural right here. So you can see it was painted last year as part of our WE project. But I can't tell you how many people I've seen actually standing underneath this whale or in the surfer and taking their photos, whether it's jumping or with their surfboard or parking a car here. Um, but again, it's just creating those photogenic moments, these opportunities where people can stop in your city, take photos and post where they're at and what they're doing. And it's free marketing, uh, free storytellers for your city. The other thing you want to remember when you're looking at these uh, installations of murals and public art, uh, you know, if you're trying to create photo opportunities for people, uh, make sure that you are selecting walls and and locations that people can get to uh, so that they can stand in front of the public art. Um, and it's great to have a cool piece of art or mural up high where it's visible. Uh, that's a whole nother uh, segment of videos to talk about. But you know, if you want people walking up into your city and walking around your city and taking photos quite a bit, you gotta make sure that they can get close to the art. So you can see here where I'm at. I mean, this whole wall is along the sidewalk and it's very accessible for people that want to take photos. So I'd encourage you to look at those type of opportunities uh, when you're looking to install photographical public art.